We're so lucky to be here today at number 22 Meadway in Western Park. In my opinion, probably the best street in the area. Nobody uses this road unless you live down here. And we've got this cracking semi-detached house over three floors, and it's got a brilliant annex or office, whatever you want to use it for in the garden. Retains loads of character features. Come inside and take a look. You will not be disappointed. So this is our sitting room, a beautiful room, really nicely presented. We've got a working log burner over there, engineered oak parquet style floor, and I love these shutters on the window. As you can see, it still retains so much character for the area of Western Park, but has been upgraded to a fantastic modern standard. Come with me now and we'll go through to the kitchen and living space. This kitchen diner is absolutely superb. So we've got the kitchen area over here that opens out into our dining area. Lovely tiled floor. Both rooms look out into the garden. So we've got a window from the kitchen looking out into the garden. We've got two Velux windows there, adding lots of extra light. Right behind you is a separate utility area. So you can get all your laundry and bits and bobs out the way of the kitchen into the utility area. And then through here, we have a set of French doors which lead out into that beautiful garden, which I'm going to show you now. We have got extremely lucky with the weather today. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning garden. Um, not overlooked at all at the rear. You really would not have a clue where you are. One of the best things about Western Park with its big plot sizes is that you don't really feel uh, overlooked like you do on some other estates. And all the other mature gardens, because of how old the estate is as a whole, you just get this sense of being outside in the wilderness and um, really, like, it's like being in the south of France today. It's absolutely fantastic. So the garden's absolutely stunning, as I say. And now I'm going to show you the little hideaway at the back, which you might just be able to make out there. We've got an absolutely superb home office. So yeah, come and have a look at that with me. And then we'll have a little look upstairs as well. So here is our home office being fantastically designed. It's even got a little bed in there in case you need a snooze during the day, just if you've been working really hard in the morning. So let's go inside and have a look. I could definitely get me some of this. This would suit me down to the ground. If I'm not in the office um, based off site, I'd love to work in a place like this. So we've got a couple of Velux windows to give that extra light. It's really secluded and tucked away, so it's not obvious to see from the house, um, which is really nice because it doesn't overtake the garden in any way at all. We've got a desk area down here, little seating area, and then that little bed up there. Great for teenagers if they want to get away from the uh, hustle and bustle of the main house and equally for yourself as well if you want to work here. I'm sure it can be used for a numerous different um, occupations. Also, nail bar, beauty studio, anything like that. It's just a fantastic addition to have to this already amazing house. So this is the first floor landing. We've got loft conversion off um, above us just here as well. Um, and on this floor, it's a fairly traditional layout. So we've got two really good size double bedrooms um, off to the side. And then we've got a, a very big single or smaller double uh, behind where you are at the moment. And then we've got the separate toilet and bathroom off this side as well. So I tend not to dwell too much on the upstairs because really it's downstairs that sells most properties and especially this one. But look, we've got it all here. You can have a look at the photographs and see what it's all about as well. I'll just show you the top floor and then I think we'll be about there. So this is the view we've got from the top floor back bedroom window. What a stunning view it is. I don't think I really need to say any more about this room. Just finished looking at that beautiful view. We've got uh, two double bedrooms up here and then we've got an additional shower room as well. Brilliant addition to a property. When I see these um, third floor, sorry, second floor loft conversions done, they don't always put an extra bathroom in, but they've got one here, which is absolutely brilliant. So there we have it, number 22 Meadway in Western Park. Just amazing, brilliant, five bedroom, semi-detached home, um, two bathrooms, lovely um, kitchen, diner, uh, living space and that garden is just fantastic and on a day like today where else would you rather be thanks very much for watching i'll catch up with you soon